What if I told you one of the biggest food stamp frauds in U.S. history wasn't stopped by investigators because the investigator was in on it? Welcome back to the Digital Transformer Guy channel. Today, we're diving into one of the largest fraud cases in U.S. history, a staggering $66 million SNAP food stamp scam. The shocking twist? A USDA fraud investigator, the very person hired to stop scams, helped make it happen. But here's the question. Could artificial intelligence and digital technology have prevented this massive theft? Stick around because the lessons here apply to governments, banks, healthcare, and every enterprise managing sensitive data. Tonight, six people are now charged with a huge fraud and bribery scam targeting food stamps. Listen to this. One of the arrested people in this, a USA employee, that's the government agency that oversees food stamp benefits. According to the Justice Department, the group set up a network that supplied approximately 160 unauthorized EBT terminals to stores across the New York area. Those terminals then illegally processed more than $30 million in EBT transactions. And the USDA employee who's charged actually worked in the division responsible for identifying food stamp fraud. Earlier this month, we highlighted a national scam in our special report, Faces of the Forgotten. Thousands of people in Alabama have had millions of dollars stolen from their EBT account. And for the last five months, they say they have not been reimbursed. In May 2025, federal prosecutors charged six people, including a USDA fraud investigator, with exploiting the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, better known as SNAP. Here's what they did. The USDA insider stole EBT license numbers. She actually took pictures with her phone and shared the numbers with her co-conspirators. Conspirators used those numbers to set up 160 unauthorized payment terminals across New York. They racked up $66 million in fraudulent transactions. My goodness. This case is a textbook example of how human greed plus weak digital safeguards equals massive loss. So why did this happen? Number one, insider risk. The employee had unchecked access to sensitive data. Number two, weak transaction monitoring. No system flags suspicious activity in real time. Imagine that. And then number three, poor terminal controls. Fake stores could redeem benefits without adequate checks. This wasn't just a one-off scam. It was a failure of digital oversight. Now let's flip the script. Here's how AI and digital technology could have stopped this in its tracks. Insider threat detection. AI can analyze employee behavior and flag unusual access, like pulling hundreds of license numbers at odd hours. Real-time fraud monitoring. Machine learning models can spot red flags in SNAP transactions, such as stores processing millions in benefits overnight. Geofencing and blockchain. Locking terminals to verify store locations and digitally signing every license would make stolen credentials useless. Automated compliance audits. AI can run daily checks across the system, catching anomalies before they snowball into billions. So this isn't just about food stamps. Banks, healthcare providers, and enterprises face similar risks. Anytime you have sensitive data, high value transactions, and human insiders, you need AI and digital safeguards. The lesson, digital transformation isn't just about speed and efficiency, it's about trust and accountability. So what do you think? Should government agencies adopt AI-powered fraud prevention systems immediately? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, hit like, subscribe, and share this video. For deeper dives into AI, cloud, and digital transformation, check out my upcoming ebook, Digital Treasure Troll for Enterprise Solution Architects, and follow me on LinkedIn and SamsonaSoftware.com. This is Digital Transformer Guy, helping you navigate the future one transformation at a time.